nor gave me money to talk about them later. So, yeah. Okay, so a few years back when I was in university, me and a good homie of mine, we'll call him Mike, were chilling on the couch at my crib playing video games. I think it was like Smash Melee on the GameCube. And I'm just whooping homeboy. Like straight out dogging him. It was embarrassing. He was a fox man with how much he was sucking. I felt like I was bodying Kirby. Which was odd because he was definitely better than me. Whenever we'd play, he'd have me hitting that little beam forward. In the first 12 seconds of the game, I am currently leaning back, comfortable. I'm enjoying myself. Dog, I've got lumbar support. This is not how you're supposed to feel playing Smash. Something was off. Eventually, though, he paused the game because he gets a text. And I can tell by the way he's looking at it, it's weighing on him. He opens it up and just sits there for a second. Yo, oh, dog, uh, you good? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're just gonna lie to my face, bro? Bro, I've been working harder than an animator at MAPPA. That was foul. You were usually the one whooping me. There's, there's clearly something up here. <sighs> All right, um, can I tell you something? Literally, yes. What is, what is going on? So, you know I'm dating Elise, right? Yeah, y'all been together for at least a year now. And for good reason, I love her. She really is the love of my life. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a butt coming here. But, there it is. I'm not really sexually attracted to her like that. And I don't know if I should lie about it or not. I... What? All right, so Mike proceeds to explain to me he recently got into a little spat with his girl. She apparently had a feeling that Mike wasn't really feeling her when it came to feeling her. You feel me? He didn't want to f her. Okay, hey, baby, relax. We all know that. But also probably. Basically, he had a deep love for his girl, for the kind of person she was. Her humor, her strong personality, but he wasn't particularly too into her body type. Of course, I think she's cute, but physically not close to my ideal partner in the sheets. So what? He wanted her to have a fatter ass or something? Baby, you gotta chill today. But also probably. See, this point is apparently an insecurity of hers, and he would always try his best to make her feel love. Regardless, though. The thing is that she was starting to catch on to the fact that something might have been up. So today, they were texting about it, and she just straight up asked him, do not find me that sexually attractive. And he didn't know what to say. On one hand, if I tell the truth, I'll have been honest, but her self-esteem is probably gonna tank. Based off my opinion, which have nothing to do with her personal perception of herself. Even if I soften the blow, I know she's gonna take it personally. And sure, she isn't ideal, I guess, but I don't mind. I love her for her. But I'm scared if I'm completely honest, it would make her leave me. On the other end, if I lie, I'll be able to spare her feelings without revealing too much, which in turn would help her self-esteem. Something as fickle as sexual attraction doesn't matter that deeply, and I don't want her to leave me over it, but she highly values this perception of herself, and I'll have been dishonest. Now, after everything he presented to me, what I should say to him was pretty obvious. Dude, I have no idea what you should do. Look, I gotta be honest. Not being honest might honestly be a valid option here. It's not honest. So, <laughs> like I get it. On one hand, lying to your partner feels wrong, but maybe it's worth not telling her if it doesn't hurt her and helps maintain the relationship. But you're lying. And would that catch up with him in the long run? I was split. So after that, he ended up leaving the crib that day and he did make a choice. One I'll share at the end of this video. You're gonna blue ball everyone. Girl, what is up with you today? Probably. Probably to this day, I always wondered what should I have said and if so would it have impacted anything y'all ever been in the shower after interaction been like damn I wish I said that that that's what literally this whole video is except it's years later and that shower is a YouTube video that costs like a thousand dollars is the most expensive shower I've ever taken okay so this whole thing comes down to two general questions right is it ever okay to lie to your partner and if so to what extent and thankfully this question is pretty easy to answer from a moral standpoint Obviously, you should lie to your partner. It's very obvious. Get off! Get off! I'm a lying to your partner advocate because a lie a day makes your partner stay. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Now, I'm not tripping, okay? For this to be true, though, it depends on the lie. Like, what a gift they got me. Oh, I was telling the homies how much I wanted a tea towel. Yo, thank you so much. This is so, so nice. A conversation. No, 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 babe. I genuinely want to hear you talk about the intricacies of road construction in the 1940s. It is so, so sexy. Trust me. Or food. Babe, this... Chicken is... You cooked a part. Like, I'm not doing that because I'm playing with her feelings or because I'm trying to protect myself or something. I do it because I want to uplift her. I want her to feel heard and feel confident. Even if sometimes she probably shouldn't. I feel like one of the prerequisites of being a partner is making my partner happy. So if a little lie does that, then it's worth it. Especially if it's over something that is probably inconsequential. Like, if my girl came up to me and was like, would you still love me if I was a pile of eels? My honest answer, which is, I'd love you in a sense of like, how much I enjoy you in a sushi roll. You would make more sense as an ingredient than a viable life partner. But what kind of stupid question was, brings us no positive outcome whatsoever. Like she's sad, I'm an asshole for being completely honest. I might as well lie and make her feel better about herself. You know, like she's never going to turn into a pile of eels. So why be honest about it, you know? What's wrong with being made of slimy tendrils that could kill you? Uh, you could kill me. I don't know how we'd be able to hold hands. You could kill me. In fact, according to studies, a single lie similar to the ones I was talking about may not hurt a relationship, but in fact may actually help it. Now, there's a name for these kind of helpful lies, and they're called pro-social lies, or lies intended to benefit others and are ubiquitous behaviors that have important social and economic consequences. Basically, they're lies that netly benefit other people. Like a bunch of eel lies, this is just a bunch of eel lies. And we do these kinds of lies all the time. I know so many of y'all have been asked how do i look by a person who looks like they don't know how to look in a mirror good f and lied because it's not a big deal and it'll make them feel better this stuff is common especially in relationships in fact in one study researchers found that married people lied in about 10 percent of their interactions with spouses which sounds like a lie itself but i put that on cypher den that it's true because i asked her me her and her husband george were sitting at a sushi bar eating not my girlfriend and we had a couple drinks in us so i figured i asked them the question do you think it's okay to lie in a relationship i kid you not both of them looked at each other, looked at me, squinted their eyes, then said, yeah. Then proceeded to throw back one of the biggest shots of sake, both of them. Quoting Den, she said, some things just don't need to be said. And I'd say that she's spitting. And the relationship is doing great. Here's four pictures of Den choking George that same night. And that commonality isn't just for married people either. It's also for just people in normal relationships. As couples would lie to each other 30% of the time. That's one third of the time that I'm capping about us. And it makes even more sense because in fact, according to a lot of these studies, these kinds of lies breed trust and honesty. It is a paradox, I know, but like, Bear with me. Specifically noted here in this study, it can play an important role in the way that individuals interact with relationships as the benefit of these lies outweigh the fact that you're being dishonest. Here, like on my normal reading level example, say I put you and your partner in two separate rooms, right? And between you is like a one-way communication. You can only talk to them. And in their room are two buttons labeled heads and tails. And let's say I'm there in your room and I had a coin. And I tell you, you have to tell your partner what side the coin lands on. And if your partner gets it correct, you receive $2 and they would receive zero. But if they got it wrong, you'd only receive $1.75 and they would receive $1. Now, chances are, unless you really going through it, you would lie to them because the outcome of the lying seem more beneficial overall. And I know that because this was an actual study done with real adults. And the majority of the time, they would lie for a more beneficial result for everyone involved, even if it took a bit of their cutaway. And even better, these people did not know each other. So there was no pre-basis to care about one another. And when the people who inputted the answers saw that these people were lying for their benefit, they noted that it made them trust them more because it was for the greater good. The heads and tails were the eels here. You really won't let this eel thing go. I ain't fucking no eel, bro. And the love and affection we increase between each other is the money in this situation. So I'ma tell her I'm a lover as them eels and get my dollar seventy five of affection. So you're a manipulator. Mm, yeah. But like a good one though. Is that really a thing? I have statistically proven it, so yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Okay, Mr. Eels, but don't you think this is a bit of a slippery slope? What do you mean? Well, I don't think that study is perfect because in that scenario, it's very clear what to do. The lying essentially had no negative effects on the situation other than the fact that a lie was told. But that's not how the real world works. The trust of having your actual real opinion matters a lot more in some situations, especially when people aren't getting paid out of it. And that's definitely true when it comes to your friend situation. Is him not being sexually attracted to his partner and her not having a partner that's sexually attracted to her mutual? Mutually beneficial. That feels like it's actually just worth a dollar seventy-five. <sighs> yeah, that's a thing. Now, there's something you gotta bear in mind: is that this whole pro-social lying thing, although I have the facts, is still based in opinion. Because there is a bit of a morality question here, even if it's for someone's benefit. Me tell homegirl that her salted chicken is delicious could end up leading to a consistent serving of solid chicken, and I just gotta body it forever. Nah. I'd... So at what point is my lie doing more damage than good? And I think like here, that is where the scenario comes in itself. So it took me a lot of time to like think about this. Quite literally me being in more relationships with people I've loved and with people who've hurt me and seeing the effect of these lies. I didn't really have the XP points to like really give an opinion. So from what I gather, our girl is coming to Mike looking for affirmation of her body. Do people want to f me essentially? And something we all concern ourselves with and may feel self-conscious about all the time. If we go the pro-social lie route, telling her he's attracted to her body, he not only boosts her self-esteem, but affirms her about herself. Duh, babe, yes, people want to f you. Yeah. <laughs> but the wild thing about the type of affirmation happening here is that it's not about her. It's really about him. Sure, she's asking him, am I attractive? That's a part of it. But the question is, does he find her attractive? Not if other people like her, not if the world likes her, if he wants her. And that's it. Do you want to f Now the pros of the pro-social lies are starting to get a little skewed. Because sure, like I said, the lie would affirm her, but the affirmation has to, you know, continue to happen. You get what I mean? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, okay, look. She doesn't feel like he wants to feel her. You feel me? And that has to be shown in particular ways, you know, like, like. Oh, I get it. So you're saying he wanted her self-esteem to go up, but something else needed to go up too. Okay, well, like, not necessarily it was to make her feel good about herself but she wanted him to make her feel good somewhere else <laughs> like not necessarily just like that it, it, there's more so he didn't want to her ah tact tact is a word we use sometimes when the friends we're talking about might watch the video and there are multiple things that could have been that have could have been shown but probably talk about no hard feelings oh my god like sure the lie would help her self-esteem but he would have to prove it through actions whether they be physical in the bedroom or in other ways he may show it and that stuff is a lot harder shut up to fake making this lie a lot more in depth than you would want it to be not to mention with her question this form of deception would be such a betrayal of what she wants it seems like she wants a partner who both loves her emotionally and wants her physically and this is a big decision for her in her life and she should have the autonomy to have that and if you lie to her it becomes a lot bigger than just your opinion it's your opinion as her long-term life partner and she should have the autonomy to choose a partner that wants that from her and we're now infringing on what the definition about how pro this pro social lie could be it's like a violation of consent almost so coming from the lying advocate homie you gotta be honest bro and that's what i wish i said me would have decided differently he ended up lying to her and they broke up three months later because what she valued was a partner who wanted her more physically and she was allowed to want that and probably shouldn't have been lying to about it but it has made me realize that yes i do think lying sometimes to preserve feelings is all right in fact sometimes it's better than telling the truth but when it comes to things that are that close to the heart and that impactful long term i think it's better to be honest so pro social lying is it good is it bad it depends i think overall pro social lying does help a lot of the time but just like in our boy situation it depends on what the lie is so before you lie to a loved one take a good look at it and make sure that it's an eel otherwise you might as well tell the truth homeboy
Now, as we've proven with this video, there are very particular times to lie in some aspects of the relationship. And that is also applicable to the internet, specifically about where you're currently located, either for your own safety or so I can just watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine while I live in Brooklyn. This video is sponsored by the literal best pro social lie, NordVPN. So if you didn't know already, when using the internet on an unprotected connection, you are essentially naked for lack of a better term. Completely open to having your private information stolen by hackers, from social media accounts to banking info. And NordVPN covers you in a protection by changing your IP address and encrypting your connection so you are no longer naked and afraid. And all it takes is one click to connect up to 5,200 plus servers over six devices at blazing fast speeds. And in doing that, not only are you protected, but now you're wherever you want to be at the click of a button, which means you can access content outside of your country. Like say a streaming platform isn't available in your country, simply change your virtual location. I do that all the time. There's such a weird irony that I live in Brooklyn, but I can't watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Well, just like the philosophy of normal police, the power of line can fix anything. As we just ping over to Canada and, and there we go, I've got access. Again, the ultimate pro social liar. So if you want to pro social lie on the internet like a professional, go to nordvpn.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie to try NordVPN and get four plus months for free on a two year plan. And not to mention you can try NordVPN risk free for 30 days with a money back guarantee. Yes, I know. Again, so just in case that it really, you drive home. nordvpn.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie. NordVPN risk free for 30 days. Money back if you want it. So go to NordVPN and live the best way on the internet today. <laughs>